Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content and boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, we're going to be going over the PBC card that's going to be coming on this Saturday, live on Fox, and it's going to be featuring the doubleheader with the Charlo twins, all right? Jamal Charlo versus Matt Karabov and Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harrison. Now, I'm not going to be making in a long ass video so what I want to do is I'm going to do a split video where I'm going to be highlighting both of these fights and tonight I'm going to be highlighting Jamal Charlo versus Matt Karabov okay now this is actually going to be a pretty damn good fight and personally I think this is going to be even a better fight than the Willie Monroe fight and for those of you who don't know the main reason this fight has been made is because Jamal Charlo was originally supposed to fight Willie Monroe. And what ended up happening was Willie Monroe ended up having a VADA test and he ended up failing the test for performance enhancing drugs. So now that fight has been canceled and now Matt Karabov is actually going to be the replacement for Willie Monroe. And like I said, personally, I think this is going to be a better test at that middleweight division for Jamal Charlo. Because even with Willie Monroe, that would have been an okay fight. It would have actually been an all right fight, especially with Willie Monroe being so high up in the rankings. But you got to think, Willie Monroe, he's a very good boxer, but the dude don't got no friggin' power, man. I mean, the dude is like 23-3 and three with six knockouts. He just ain't got no power like that. And I don't think that Jamal Charlo would go in there respecting his power. And I think it would have been more of a technical, tactical type of matchup where Jamal Charlo's trying to find Willie Monroe. Willie Monroe is going to be using his slickness because he is a slick boxer, but it would have been more of a technical matchup where this is actually still going to be a technical matchup because Matt Karabov, he's got hell of experience, man. And for those of you who don't know the dude, a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, Jamal Charlo, he's getting a freaking cherry pick fight and this and that. Well, the dude, Matt Karabov, the dude ain't no joke, man. The dude is legit. He was actually a huge prospect before he ended up getting his ass knocked out by Andy Lee and he was like highly talented because he's got a friggin hellacious ass amateur background the dude's amateur background He's got like over 300 fights. He won the world amateur championships. He was in the Olympics. He ended up losing in the first round in the Olympics. But the dude was a highly touted prospect. And then when he ended up losing to Andy Lee by knockout, and that was a fight he was actually winning before he ended up getting hit with that damn right hook. That right hook came from hell. Friggin' had his ass on Queer Street and homie just started, vop, 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 just started laying in his ass and the referee had to stop that thing, man. But anyways, this is actually a really good matchup, but the only thing thing that I don't like is that Karabov, the level of competition that he has been fighting since the Andy Lee fight has not been that good, man. He's been fighting some mediocre competition and the competition that he's been fighting for the past couple of years wouldn't get him ready for a dude like Jamal Charlo. It would have actually got him ready for his original opponent that he was supposed to be fighting. But like I said, this should still be a very good tactical matchup and some articles that came out in the boxing scene.com that actually highlighted some things coming from both fighters going into this matchup. Now, when this matchup was first stated, Boxing Scene came out with an article stating Jamal Charlo versus Matt Karabov set down. Monroe is out. Matt Karabov has received the type of opportunity he has sought the past couple years. BoxingScene.com has learned that Karabov has agreed to replace Willie Monroe Jr. as Jamal Charlo's opponent on Saturday night in Brooklyn. Boxing Scene first reported Saturday that Karabov was the probable replacement for Monroe if the WBC ruled that Monroe couldn't challenge Charlo for its interim middleweight title due to a recent performance enhancing drug test. So it also goes on to stay from Jamal Charlo. I was well prepared for Willie Monroe, who is a southpaw, so there won't be that much difference facing Karabov, said Charlo. There is a size difference. He's taller than Monroe, but I'll just have to adjust my game plan. The best fighters in the world are the ones who are able to make the best adjustments. 
beating Karabov is going to make the victory that much sweeter due to this adversity. That means the celebration is going to be sweeter as well. He was fighting on the undercard, so he's prepared. But now fighting for the title in the top spot is going to make him fight harder. I love it. He's a much better opponent on paper than Willie Monroe Jr. Quote. And he's very right about that. On paper, he is a better opponent than Willie Monroe Jr. Like I said, he's got a lot more crack than Willie Monroe Jr. He's like 28 and one, and he's got like 14 knockouts. So he's definitely got a lot more power than Willie Monroe Jr. And in actual experience level, he's way more experienced than Willie Monroe Jr. Like I said, the only thing that I can really knock on Matt Karabov is that his last four to five opponents haven't been that appeasing. So fighting dudes like that, I don't think that that would get him ready to fight a dude like Jamal Charlo. So definitely his experience would have to come into play fighting a dude like Charlo. Now going later into the article, it states, I was training to fight on this card, so I am physically and mentally ready to fight, said Karabov. It doesn't matter that I am taking this fight on a week's notice because I have been preparing for this moment my entire life. I will make a few adjustments for Charlo and make the most of this opportunity. Don't miss it. Make sure you tune in to Fox for a great fight. Quote. It also goes on to state that Karabov, like Monroe, is a southpaw, thus a sensible replacement considering Charlo has spent his entire training camp sparring against left-handed opponents. So this should make for a really good matchup. The styles in particular for who they've been training for might be a little bit different, but it should still be a really good matchup considering that both of these dudes have put in full training camps training for an opponent, and now both of their opponents are just more on a higher level because I would consider Karabov on a higher level than Willie Monroe and then I would consider Charlo on a higher level than the original opponent that he was going to face because I think the dude that he was going to be fighting was like 21 and 10 or 21 and 9 or something like that but I know the dude had a grip of losses I forgot the dude's name but this is definitely going to be a better fight for the both of them and then another recent article came out in the boxing scene.com and it was an interview with Karabov's manager. And Karabov's manager came out saying, this is a better fight than Charlo Monroe. And like I said, this is definitely a better fight than Charlo Monroe. And he goes on to state, it's rare that the opponent falls out in a fight of this magnitude. Boral told BoxingScene.com, and you end up with a better fight on one week's notice as a result. But that's what happened here. Quote, it also goes on to state, when you represent a guy that other boxers avoid like the plague, you have to get creative, Burrell said. Monroe is a southpaw, so we specifically asked to be on this undercard. I think Karabov has the desire, will, and skill to shock the boxing world Saturday night. Quote. Now, with that being said... This is going to be a really good fight, but if I really had to choose a winner, I'd still have to give that edge to Jamal Charlo. Like I said, Karabov is a big step up from a guy like Willie Monroe in experience and talent. Because like I said, Karabov, he's well more experienced than Willie Monroe, and he does have that crack because he's got a lot more knockouts on his record. I think he's got like a 50% knockout ratio on his record, 28-1 and one with 14 knockouts. But at the same time, the level of competition that he has fought in, in his past few fights doesn't match up with a dude like Jamal Charlo. So this is actually going to be a very big step up in competition for Karabov over his last few fights. But I still think that he has that experience to be able to face that adversity. But if I had to pick a winner, I would actually either have Jamal Charlo knocking his ass out in the middle rounds, okay? I either see it going from the middle rounds to the late rounds, but I see Jamal Charlo getting a stoppage. If it ends up going to a decision, it's very possible to do Karabov. He does have very good defense, but Jamal Charlo, he's got some crack. He's very slick in there with it, and I think that he has the ability to be able to take out Karabov. So if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I guess we'll just have to find out this Saturday night, all right? So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments on this fight, make sure to hit me up in the comment section, and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, okay? So I hope you guys like the video. Holla at your boy.